psychometric chart. Very, very complicated chart. How to read it is what I am going to cover in this video. Welcome, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for going through my videos. I request all of you to please subscribe, spread it amongst your friends and give a valuable comments as well so that I can go on improving every time and come up with the knowledgeable videos which you actually like it or you need it. Let us see how to read psychrometric charts. Complicated chart. If you look at this number of lines, you will find what is this and this is what we want to simplify today. So if you look at this chart, then from these charts, how do we get information of what we need? It's a very, very important chart. This is the basic fundamental of thermodynamics, right? And it is used for designing of HVAC systems and various other systems. Let us look at how can we read it, right? This, this is chart. So the vertical lines in this chart, these are the lines over here and the values on the X axis rather denote the dry bulb temperature. So this is a dry bulb temperature scale. 20, 50, where the vertical line hits the horizontal line, horizontal axis are the, the data points which gives you dry bulb temperatures. Similarly, the, the angular lines which hit the curve over here, and this is the wet bulb temperature scale. These are like 20, 40, 85. These are the wet bulb temperatures. These lines which actually hit the, the curve over here. Right? So this is the bed bulb lines. This is the bed bulb temperature scale. The, the curved line and the last curve which I just told you before, these are the parallel curves which actually denotes the relative humidity. So this is 20%, this is 45%, this is 80% and the last one is 100%. So this, this is the relative humidity. The next one is humidity ratio or kilogram of moisture per kg of dry air. These are the horizontal lines. This gives the humidity ratio. The next is the dew point temperature. Now this is a scale which these lines hit the curve over here and that gives the dew point temperatures. So it starts from, you can see over here, 20, 50, 85. The next one is specific enthalpy. This is the lines. You can see the scale over here. 10, 25, 50. These lines which hit and hit this scale gives you specific enthalpy. This scale is called specific enthalpy scales. When these lines hit here, you will get that actual number. Then these are the lines which denote specific volume. Specific volume is the lines which are these lines. So how do we get the required data? So if you look, at, if you have got, suppose, a T which is the dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature, TW is wet bulb temperature. How can I get RH, the, the humidity ratio, the dew point, the volume and the enthalpies? Let us look at how can we get this. So if you look at the, this is the 25 degree dry bulb temperature, right? And this is the 20 degree wet bulb temperature when it hits, this is the point which it hits from here we can get a lot of information. This line which goes over here gives me a dew point of 17.6 degree, right? The right hand side gives me the humidity ratio, right? The, the purple line which comes from this point gives me the RH, the relative humidity. The CN or the light blue lines which this gives me specific volume, 0.86 meter cube kg of dry air, right? And the line which hits the specific enthalpy scale gives me the enthalpy. So from the two important factors or numbers, I can get many information from this psychrometric charge. So this is the simplest way of explaining what is the psychrometric charge, how to read it with a small example. Hope you like this video. Thank you very much for your patient listening, patient watching. Please subscribe my channel. Give your valuable comments, spread it to your friends, follow me on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, ajaskazi.com. Thank you so much.